Hello friends, today let's talk about shell dweller cichlid tank. These are tiny little cichlids from Lake Tanganyika. So let's go. Okay guys, today let's talk different types of shell dwellers, tank sizes, what tank is suitable for them and the layout, the structure of the tank and the water parameters and the tank mates and the different types of food what they eat. So let's talk about these in details. So some of the basic shell dwellers, let's look at it. So the first one is Maltese which is called as multifaciators and the second one is temporalis and third one is hecky fourth one is similis and the fifth one is brevis capampa and the sixth one is lamprologus oscillatus so now let's talk about tank size and tank layout even though this fish is small in size, they require minimum 20 gallon tank because they are slightly aggressive in nature. They require their own space and their own hiding spots in the tank. So they require at least 20 gallon. Bigger is always better. If you are keeping a species tank, 20 gallon would be suitable. Otherwise, the 40 gallon would be ideal. And shells are very important for these fishes. They use them as caves or hiding spot in their tank. So it is essential. And you can use any types of rock. This one which I used is uh, dragon rock which looks really good in the tank. And you can use sand as a substrate for this uh, fish. You can use argonite sand shown in the picture which is essential for this fish. So whenever you set up a shell well tank, you should provide enough shells in your tank so that each fish gets enough hiding spots in your tank so that uh, there is no aggression in the tank. As these guys are slightly aggressive, you should provide them such setup with enough shells in your tank so that they live at least, so that uh, they get enough hiding spots in the tank. So now let's talk about water parameters of these fish. As these fish are from Lake Tanganyikan, the ideal temperature of this fish should be 24 to 28 degrees Celsius and these, requ these fish require hard water as these fish are from Tanganyikan Lake and the pH should be 7.5 to 9 and the hardness should be 15 to 25. So such conditions should be provided. So next let's talk about tank mates of this fish. So the ideal tank mates would be other shell dwellers from Lake Tanganyikan. If you are keeping a different types of shell dwellers, then 40 gallon tank would be ideal. If you are keeping a species tank like what I did, then the 20 gallon would be ideal. So it is essential to provide them a proper tank setup and tank mates in their tank. So it is not advisable to add any big fish in their tank because uh, these fish are very really small and they don't grow big so it is ideal to add only shell dwellers in their tank uh, which uh, may be helpful uh, for these fish uh, if you add the big fish it might uh, be a snack for uh, the big fish so it is essential to add only shellies or shell dwellers in this tank so let's talk about food what food these fish eat so mostly these fish eat Daphnia, Cyclops, Flake foods and pow powder pellet food. As these are small fish, they require a tiny pellets to be added in your tank. 
so let's see the live session of feeding so i'm going to feed this fish so you can see the food sinking down so every fish is eating it so as these fish are uh, bottom fish they stay most of the time bottom you have to provide them a sinking based food sinking powdered fillets or sinking flakes or sinking shrimps anything and don't overfeed uh, these fish as these fish are very small they require little amount of food daily once or twice so it's ideal not to overfeed these fish and it is better to siphon your uh, tank once in every week so that uneaten food can be removed so that's it guys so it's better to research these fish before uh, you buy them it's a tiny little beautiful fish thank you guys so do subscribe guys hit the bell icon for next video that's it for now take care bye